in a very shocking turn of events, Judgment Day have turned on edge. Now, we knew coming into Monday Night Raw, there were going to, there was going to be another member joining the Judgment Day, the faction led by Edge, uh, Damian Priest, and Rhea Ripley. We knew that someone was going to be joining. There was speculation it might have been Liv Morgan. There was speculation it might have been someone else. It ended up being the prince himself, Finn Balor. So Finn Balor comes out, Edge is happy, Priest is happy, Re Ripley's happy. And it looks like Finn Balor has been brought to the dark side by Edge. And just as soon as you think that, Damian Priest says, the Judgment Day needs to get rid of all weakness if it is to be successful in what it wants to do. And he, point he looks at Edge and he says, and that weakness is you. And he proceeds to attack his former boss, his former uh, leader, his former leader in Edge. And it was just a three-on-one assault on Edge after that. Balor hit a coup de gras. We saw uh, Priest hit his choke slam. The Glasgow style, uh, smile from Balor, as well as a concerto delivered to the head and neck area of Edge. Now... It's an interesting move. I I'll put it out there. It's an interesting move. Uh, the night after the Judgment Day seemed as it was just catching some steam. They were a dominant force in that match last night. And, and suddenly, they abandoned their leader for another leader in Finn Balor. And don't get me wrong. I think this is really good for Finn Balor. Because he's a much more compelling heel than he is a face right now. And this makes him interesting. It shakes things up. It gives him a reason to talk every week on Monday Night Raw. Because the way WWE books, it just happens to be this way. Heels got the better promos. He'll get, heels get more promo time. And I will do anything to hear Finn Balor speak. And speak as a heel. Like, I mean, come like, look at his New Japan stuff. Captain freaking New Japan? Like, come on. Amazing promos. Um, that being said, for Edge... I think this is likely them writing him off TV. It seemed like that. A concerto would likely write him off for at least a few months. Well, is he going to return as a face? Probably. It begs the question, though, what was the entire point of the Judgment Day and, and having Edge start this faction if just, like, less than, like, what was that, what's it been? It's only been, like, not even, like, two months, right? If, like, just a short period later, two pay-per-views later... You're just going to change things up this drastically. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, again, it's an it's a choice. We'll see how it plays. Let it play out, they say. Uh, we'll let it play out, and we'll see what happens. But this is likely them writing Edge off of TV, and then, you know, he'll, he'll eventually come back, and the, there'll be a big match with Balor. Hopefully, it'll be a big match with Balor. That would be really cool to see, and there would be a reason for it instead of Edge just going crazy and hitting people with chairs. But... That's also just his gimmick in 2022. Guys, let me know what you guys thought about this. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.